Hi, Lori DiGiulio here, registered massage therapist and NKT practitioner. I'm in the beautiful coastal sports and wellness, getting ready actually to move to our new location. I just had a meeting recently with a study group that I've uh, begun here in Halifax called Coactive Learning. And one of the topics that we covered in our study group was how to assess and treat the diaphragm. So the thoracic diaphragm being the muscle at the base of the rib cage responsible for allowing us to uh, inhale and uh, facilitating the exhale as well. So the diaphragm muscle is this dome-shaped muscle. It's found at the base of the rib cage. It attaches to the xiphoid process, the bottom of the breastbone, around the costal margin, the costal cartilages here at the front of the rib cage, ribs six through 11 underneath the ribs here, and all the way through the back of the body to the uh, vertebral column actually, the segment of the vertebral column that links up with um, the bottom of the rib cage. And so that muscle allows us to take really great breaths that fill up our entire lungs. When you take an inhale, that dome kind of flattens out and that flattening causes displacement of the abdominal contents, all of the organs, the viscera and the abdomen. And it acts as a really great motivator for digestion and movement along the digestive tract. It also pushes gently down into the pelvic floor um, and in that way, in uh, many different respects, facilitates um, strengthening and health in the uh, reproductive and genitourinary organs. So when you take uh, a nice big inhale, what also happens is that the holes that are in the diaphragm, there are several holes in the diaphragm, one for the inferior vena cava, which is the blood vessel or the vein that brings blood from the lower part of the body back to the heart, the aorta, which brings blood from the heart to the lower body and the abdomen, and the esophagus. Those three structures pierce through the diaphragm. And when the diaphragm contracts and relaxes, it also causes squeezing of alternate squeezing and relaxation um, of those structures that run through the diaphragm. And so it really does help facilitate blood return to the heart, blood delivery to the lower part of the body, and digestion. So the reason why we're really concerned about the diaphragm is because the diaphragm can often be used to augment for poor strength in the core. And so people hold the breath to create strength in the core. And that's a really poor pattern because what will happen is the diaphragm then becomes really tight and it can't do what its job is, which is breathing. And so one of the techniques that you can use to release the diaphragm, soften the diaphragm, we covered in our study group. And it's a technique that I learned from watching uh, the very gifted Perry Nicholson, a chiropractor in the States, who shows a technique of self-release actually for the diaphragm. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingertips and you're gonna hook them underneath the front of your rib cage. You wanna be just to the outside, the lateral, uh, just lateral to the midline. And so you're gonna hook your fingertips underneath and then you're gonna lean forward up and over your fingertips. Yeah, so you're sitting nice and comfortably on a chair. And then you're gonna take nice big inhales and exhales. And on the inhales, you're gonna try to push your fingers out. And on the exhales, you're gonna let the fingertips sink in. And so you'll just take a few breaths like that, and that will help to soften the diaphragm. And then you can use the diaphragm for breathing, and that's what it's intended to be used for. You can use that technique of releasing the diaphragm along with really great um, uh, breath technique. And uh, I have another video that describes breath technique, which I'll put in the, um, the uh, little info underneath this video so that you can take a look at that as well. But this technique is really, really great for getting that diaphragm to relax, especially for your clients um, who, who have issues with the diaphragm and need something to take home in order to continue um, the work that you've done with them directly.